Hey guys, in today's episode, we're gonna replace all four shocks in my 65 VW Beetle. And we're also gonna get the wheels restored and have the new tires mounted up. Okay, so got the bug in the air. Um, I already pulled off the hubcaps. I did that last night when I was doing some research because I found out that there's a special little tool for actually removing hubcaps like this. Um, I'll drop a picture of it in below, but basically it just kind of pops into those two little holes. There's another set of holes over here. And um, you can, if you buy those, they like protect your paint and so you don't have to use a screwdriver to pop your hubcaps off. Okay, so when I pulled the hubcaps off last night, I found out that um, one, missing a wheel lug right here. This one was loose. And then I've also got one broken clip right here. And uh, after I found that out, I popped all the wheel covers off and um, got a, well, on the front side over there, I, um, I was also missing a stud or a lug. And I also had a, another one loose. And I think every wheel is missing one of these clips. I'm gonna get these wheels popped off and then I'll run them to a tire shop and have the tires dismounted. Figured we better take a look at these uh, classic tires real quick before we get rid of them forever. Uh, this is a, a Meteor, Meteor Mohawk. I think these are really cool. I wish they still made these. Like, check out this uh, sidewall pattern here. Pretty neat looking tread pattern. I really wish I could get some bias plies, but uh, they're just out of my budget right now, so I've got some radials instead that we'll take a look at in a little bit. Got the tires dismounted. These look pretty good. I'm going to hand these off to my buddy Kevin, who's going to sandblast and paint these for me. While we're waiting for the wheels to get finished, I think I'm going to replace these rusty looking shocks. Uh, I was going to grease everything, but uh, there's some fresh grease here. I think the previous owner greased a lot of this stuff. Um, I think it's just a 17 mil here, top and bottom. Should be pretty easy. Well, I'm not sure why I said it was going to be easy. Uh, this guy does not want to come off the mounting stud down there. And the one on the passenger side, uh, I can't get the top bolt out. And the bottom also doesn't want to come off. I hit the front with some PB Blaster. We're going to let that sit for a while and work on the back. Uh, we've got a 19 millimeter nut back here inside my socket. With 17 mil head on this bolt. I'm assuming the bottom is the same. Haven't looked at it. And uh, hopefully this comes off. There we go. Well, we got one. We're over on the driver's rear now, and you can see this shock completely destroyed. And somebody has put a lug nut on the lower shock mount, which is kind of weird. There we go. 
I think I finally got this one loose. Uh, put a breaker bar with a pipe on there and hit it with the impact a bunch of times. Both of my shocks right now are seized on the lower mounting stud. Uh, the inner sleeve of the shock is what's rusted to the, the bolt. So I'm gonna heat it up. Uh, I might light this bushing at the bottom on fire. Oops, there goes my light. But uh, we'll see what happens. Here's the shock. So now I just have the steel sleeve right here stuck on my bolt. And I'm just gonna heat it up and try and grab it with some vice grips and pull it off. Here we go. I went ahead and just repeated that process on this side and uh, it worked out fine. Got the sleeve off. I've gone ahead and just cleaned up all the threads on these bolts and the lower mounting studs. And you wanna make sure you're reusing these bolts. Uh, as you can see, this has a much shorter thread length than something you'd be able to buy from a hardware store. And I've also got a replacement nut for this guy. So now I'm gonna just uh, coat these with some anti-seize and then install the shocks. Now that we've got these shocks installed, let's see how Kevin's doing on the wheels. Here's how the rims turned out. 
I ended up going with L87 Pearl White and L41 Black. And uh, they look great. I'm really glad I had these painted. And then here's the tires that I'm having mounted on them. These are Nexon SB802s. Size is 165-80R15. I'm going to have the tire shop throw them on tomorrow morning. I had my new tires mounted and balanced. Uh, now let's install them and torque the wheels down. I went ahead and tossed the hubcaps on too. And uh, these look really good. I'm very happy with how these turned out. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, I'm really happy with how these wheels turned out. And I just want to give a big thank you to my buddy Kevin, who was able to do them for me. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.